to episode 3B. This is the last session of my color discrimination trick with Frodo. And as you watch this session, you're going to see that I make, I think, three or four, maybe even five reinforcement errors where I accidentally hit the button when he's going for the red toy instead of the white toy. But even with those mistakes that I've made, and even with him making a couple of mistakes throughout the session as well, you'll see, and there I just made a mistake. Um, even with those little mistakes, you'll see that he's pretty clearly figured out that the white toy is the hot toy. And after this session, I probably won't do this trick anymore because, frankly, I'm not all that interested in training these things to perfection. They're just fun things to do. It's fun to watch the dog's thought process. And at the end of this video, um, I, I'll insert a couple of images of these toys the way we see them and the way that we think dogs see them based on the cones that they have in their eyes. They are, they have, they're absent a cone. They have dichromatic vision and we have trichromatic vision. I'll also post those pictures at my website. But in any case, it could be that he's seeing the white toy versus the red toy. He definitely seemed to have trouble with the green toy and so I omitted it from the trick. I haven't brought the green toy back out again because he definitely didn't seem to understand the difference between the white toy and the green toy. However, for whatever reason, he could clearly see the difference between the white toy and the red toy. And so I just use white and red in this, and no green. Since it's not my goal to teach these things to perfection, this will probably be it for me. It's just fun to watch his thought process. And there were a few comments on the last video where um, some people seemed to imply that they thought perhaps one toy was... Um, invisible because the dogs couldn't see that particular color but even if you're only seeing in black and white you're still these toys and other items don't just become invisible because you can't see their color they still have a shape and a dimension that um, distinguishes them from the surrounding carpet so i've included those pictures at the end of this video and on my website daisypeel.com hope you enjoyed this one i hope to tune in next time to see what episode four brings Here are the three toys that I used for this trick, although in the end I omitted the green toy and just used the red toy and the white toy. And here are the same three toys as they would appear to a deuteranope, which is the specific type of colorblindness that dogs have compared to people.